We are chatting about scurvy today. What is scurvy? Think about sailors at sea or individuals affected by things like the Great Potato Famine. So there's a scarcity of fresh items out at sea. These sailors frequently um, used to just eat canned items, things that were preserved, very salty, that would prevent them from getting sick from something that's spoiled. However, this was before common medicine and new age medicine discovered humans, primates, need to eat vitamin C. We really need it. And there is another animal that we sometimes have as pets that share this but with us. They are guinea pigs. Guinea pigs need by mouth vitamin C or they too will develop scurvy. Ascorbic acid or vitamin C is a really important component of their diet. Guinea pigs that are fed deficient diets in this may develop symptoms in as quickly as two weeks. Now, vitamin C deficiency typically shows up as things like swollen, painful joints. The guinea pig might not wanna move around very much. They may have bleeding from the mucous membranes, the gums, sores around the mouth, or tooth issues in general, so they may not be eating very well. They may also develop diarrhea, belly upset issues, lack of digestion and absorption. And in general, they're just gonna not respond well, not be able to recover well from other infections. They'll have um, an unthrifty coat, they might have some hair loss. And so this, this deficiency is really affecting the immune system, they can't fight other things off, the connective tissue formation, um, bone development, so young juvenile guinea pigs that are deficient are gonna really have an issue. So under four um, months of age is when the guinea pigs that are really young are going to develop bone deformities. Now, the average amount that we believe guinea pigs need varies from about 10 to 30 mgs per day. It's higher in the young, juvenile, elderly, or pregnant nursing guinea pigs. So certain ones need even more. What are the sources of this? The best source of vitamin C in guinea pigs is fresh fruits and vegetables. Now, vegetables are going to hopefully be the greater component. Fruits are higher in sugar and their GI tracts won't do as well. Their intestinal microflora will be shifted. So shoot for the veggies, the nice fresh veggies. Things including red, yellow, orange bell peppers, anything that's really um, a veggie that has color all the way through it, as well as broccoli, asparagus, parsley, kale, spinach, those things are gonna be the real staples. Every day, your guinea pig should get some of these. You can add little bits of fruits, um, things like oranges, uh, kiwis, those kinds of things are okay, just really modify, don't give a whole lot. It should be a special treat, don't let them binge on that, it's gonna upset their belly. So, as I said, this is something that humans develop, um, guinea pigs develop. Do not provide vitamin C in the drinking water. Don't do it. There are drops out there, there are things you can add to water, but it may result and often results in guinea pigs not wanting to drink the water. So now, they're deficient in vitamin C and they're not drinking. So they're dehydrated on top of everything. It tends to have a really different taste and they can pick up on that. Even if they are drinking it, it's really hard to quantify how much they're actually getting. Uh, vitamin C degrades pretty quickly. So in water, it has to be added one to two times daily. And similarly in a shelf life, if you package it into something, whether it is those drops that you add onto things or if it's contained in a pellet, it does degrade with time. So if the item you picked up was already sitting on a shelf in a warehouse for months and months, it may not be as fresh as you realize. So go get those fresh veggies, get your guinea pig on the awesome diet it needs, and don't forget, they also need hay. Different topic, but make sure your guinea pig is getting lots of hay and enough vitamin C.